Hey everybody, uh, this is Dr. Seth Evans uh, coming at you today with another uh, urgent or semi-urgent ear, nose, and throat problem. Uh, so I'm doing a, a few, it's almost a series of these sorts of things today in, on the video blogs. So today's topic is going to be a foreign body in the ear. Um, so a foreign body is just a medical jargon term for something that, that either you or a child sticks in their ear. Um, so, you know, commonly, I'd say more commonly, these are in children that I'm seeing this problem. Um, and usually things that are able to go in the ear are typically kind of small, hard things like beads, uh, popcorn kernels, uh, uncooked beans, things like that. So it tends to be hard, smooth, and round, uh, and small enough to fit into the ear. Um, so that's typically what we see in children. And usually we're, we're talking about like toddlers, maybe up into early elementary school age. Um, for adults with foreign body in the ear, uh, it tends to be a different picture. It's usually, uh, you know, a part off of a hearing aid. So kind of the cap on the hearing aid. Um, sometimes it's the end of a Q-tip that's broken off and gone into the ear um, and things like that. So I think I'm going to focus mainly on the, the pediatric side of this. Um, in adults, we usually just pull it right out. It's, it's not a problem. Uh, in children, uh, this is a little bit more of a complicated issue. Um, and the reason is, you know, as I said before, most of these foreign bodies in the ear are hard, smooth, and round. Um, so just as an example, a plastic bead. Um, and the problem with things that are hard, smooth, and round is they're very hard to grab a hold of and pull out easily. Um, so a lot of the little grasping tools and things that I have are not going to hold on to a, a plastic bead. Um, so usually I have to get something that kind of, you know, an angled uh, ear curette or a little right angle probe that I can kind of get behind it and roll it out. Um, that's usually the way that I remove these sorts of things. Um, the other problem is usually the, the bead or the, the popcorn kernel or whatever it is, uh, it fills up almost all of the ear canal. So there's not a lot of room around it uh, to get behind that bead and roll it out. Um, so for this reason, it's uncomfortable uh, for the child to, to have this done. And uh, unfortunately, young children, they're not very uh, cooperative with things that are uncomfortable, uh, as you probably know if you've ever been around a small child. So uh, for that reason, it's very difficult to get foreign bodies out of children's ears in the office. Um, and, you know, I wish it was easier, but it's almost always necessary to actually uh, put the child to sleep under anesthesia and then remove the foreign body that way. Um, and the reason is it's just very easy for a child to be uncooperative enough that it, it's just impossible for me to get whatever it is out of their ear safely. Um, you, know, you know, if you really don't want someone to look in your ear, all you really have to do is this or, or wiggle around at all, and it's almost impossible for, for me to look into the ear and see things reliably and get instruments in there reliably. Um, and I don't really want something that's, you know, not really a dangerous issue uh, to become a more serious issue, like an eardrum perforation or damage to the inner ear. So in my experience, uh, most little kids who put stuff in their ear, um, we do need to take them to the operating room, put them to sleep, and have, the, have it removed there. Um, now that's not an emergency that has to happen the same day or the next day, you know, it can wait for a few days, but, uh, you know, it does need to come out eventually. So anyway, that's, uh, you know, some information about foreign bodies in the ear. Um, it happens, it's a pain in the butt for everybody, but we're usually able to get it out with no, uh, long-term damage. So I hope that's helpful for people and, uh, you know, if your child sticks something in their ear or if you have something fall into your ear, I'm happy to see you for that. So I hope everybody has a great day. Bye. <laughs>